Hey, what's up, you two? I'm Zeke, and welcome to the Dream Green Show. In this episode, I'm going to be going over what is dividend farming. Is it something that's good for you? Well, if you sticked out this entire video, you guys are going to know everything you need to know about dividend investing. Is dividend farming for you? You're going to learn about dividend yield, ex dividend dates, the whole nine, guys. So make sure that you stick that the entire video so you don't miss out on any crucial information. Go ahead and scroll down and hit the thumbs up button because that helps out this channel more than you guys can even imagine but before we dive into this video this video is brought to you by Weeble. sign up now by clicking the link down in the description deposit any amount of money and you guys will receive five free stocks valued up to nine thousand three hundred dollars with those five free stocks you could keep them inside the platform and decide to use it or you could sell those five free stocks and withdraw all of your money guys it's literally free money do not miss out on this opportunity also i left a link in the description to BlockFi. earn up to 250 dollars in free bitcoin by clicking the link down in the description and signing up that is a way to earn passive income through interest from just holding your cryptocurrency inside that platform and the last link is to Moomoo. Moo. Sign up with Moomoo Moo and deposit $100. You guys could receive up to five free stocks valued up to $3,500 per stock. Once again, you can keep your shares in there and decide to use the platform or you can sell your five free shares and withdraw all of your money. Guys, it's literally free money. Do not miss out on this amazing opportunity. But other than that, guys, let's go ahead and dive straight into this video. Welcome back, dreamers. So before we go ahead and pull up the charts, what is dividend farming or dividend, ex-dividend date chasing? So as you guys already know, some company pay out dividends to the investors. That is a way for them to say, hey, thank you for investing to our company. Here's a little small percentage of our profits that we're going to send to your investors so, so that they either A, you could reinvest it back into our company or you could do what you want to do with it. Some people use dividends to completely retire. That is a, the best form of passive income. You don't have to do anything at all and you receive a paycheck every single month or quarter and some people use their dividends just to pay off the bills around the house so when it comes to dividend farming there is an exact date that every company says that you have to have them inside of your you have to have shares of them inside of your portfolio and if you have shares of them inside of your portfolio by this date we're going to go ahead and record that data in our database and whether if you sell the the shares of that company or not the next day as long as you have them inside of your portfolio by the time they record this data you are going to receive dividends from that company by the time that they pay out their next dividends whether if you have them in your portfolio or not so that is what some people call dividend farming so let's say company a uh, records it on the first so you will buy shares of company a on the first and then on the second after they have recorded that data you're going ahead and sell those shares so you so you're just going to take all of your money let's say five thousand dollars throwing into company a on the first and then sell it on the second so now let's say you receive a one percent dividend yield on those shares just from you buying in on monday and then selling it on tuesday and you receiving one percent of dividend yield on company a and then let's say company b does it on the third and fourth and then company c so you go throughout the entire month chasing dividend yields which are five thousand dollars and that is called dividend farming when you're going from company to company to company to company um buying it on the first day and then selling it on the second day and then collecting those dividends in the future sounds like an amazing idea why isn't everyone doing this well in this video i'm going to show you whether this is a strategy that you should do yourself or if this is a strategy that just does not um, work out over time in the long run so let's go ahead and pull up the charts right quick all right so here we are on coca-cola coca-cola is a dividend king that means they have been increasing their dividends um every single year for the last 50 plus years in fact they have increased their dividends for the last 59 years right now coca-cola is at 65 dollars and 25 cents now the reason people don't buy now the reason a dividend farmer was not um just buy coca-cola 100 shares of coca-cola keep it inside their portfolios because they don't want the fluctuations of coca-cola price going up and down up and down all throughout the months until the next dividend date until the next dividend date so they're just going to say hey we're going to eliminate the fluctuations completely we're going to buy it on the ex dividend date and then we're going to sell it the day after but let me show you guys um exactly what you guys should be looking at we are over on seeking alpha Right here shows everything that you need to know. They have been increasing their dividends for the last 59 years. That shows that there is very stable dividend company. And down here at dividend frequency, they pay out their dividends every single quarter. So for example, they're gonna pay out their dividends uh, four times a year. Compared to another company like AGNC, they're gonna pay out 
their dividends monthly. That means they're going to pay out their dividends 12 times a year. So let's switch back over to Coca-Cola. So Coca-Cola has a dividend yield of 2.7%. That means if you own one share of Coca-Cola, the actual payout will be over the course of a full year is a dollar and 76 cents. So that's around 44 cents every quarter that you receive from Coca-Cola. Now, this is the ex dividend date that you guys will pay attention to 314 2022. Um, that's when you will buy your shares. And then on 315 2022, you'll be able to sell your shares. Now, in theory, it sounds like a, a perfect situation. Um, you buy Coca-Cola on the 14th, you sell it on the 15th, and then you move on to the next company on the 15th and then the 16th. So throughout the time month, you'll do this. But investors already know, guys, that the 44 cents dividend that's calculated in, they, the price doesn't always drop, but it usually drops around that same percentage of um, 44 cents over the next day. Doesn't always happen, but in theory, um, investors already have that calculated in the market already have that calculated in. That's why sometimes during dividend dates, you see people that do option plays do not do option plays when dividend dates are coming up or when earnings are coming up. All right, so let's take a quick look at Yahoo Finance. This is Coca-Cola. Let's look at the historical data. And as you guys can see right here, that last one was on 314. So the open right here was 57. This one you would have bought it 57.97 cents. And then the next day it actually went up. So you would have made a decent amount of profit. You would have got your dividends and you would have sold the next day for a profit. Now, Let's go back to that previous dividend date right here. Um, you would have bought it for 53.60, and then over the next day, it actually dropped way more than just 42 cents. So now you would have bought it for 53.60 on the 30th, and then sold it the next day for 52.98, uh, and then even throughout the day, it dropped all the way down to 51.90. If you would have thought that it would have recovered, that's why I'm saying a lot of times it actually um, is already calculated in, and the price usually drops over the next um day when it comes to dividend farming so you have actually lost a lot of money that month so you, so you would have lost a lot of money on the 30th but you would have made a little bit of it back on the 14th so that's how it usually goes so let's just go back one more on the um, 14th you would have bought it at 55.92 and then on the 15th you would have sold it at 55.68 so, so you would have made the the tiniest the slightest bit of profit um, dividend farming that quarter that quarter on coca-cola so let's take a quick look at another one agnc they have an ex dividend date of 428 pay out 12 12 cents every single month they have an ex dividend date of 428 2022 that means you could buy it on the 28th set it on the 29th um they have a they pay out 12 cents per every single month so that's around a dollar and 44 cents every single year. And they have a dividend yield of 12.42%. AGNC is right now at $11.59. So let's pull up AGNC. This is a completely different company in a completely diff different sector than Coca-Cola. So let's take a look if this actually happens with them as well. There it goes, 12 cents. You would have bought it on 13.41. Next day, 13.30 um 1293 next day 1289 slight profit right there because that's not a 12 cent difference 1470 1472 14 cent profit um for 1528 1511 who you would have lost a lot of money that um quarter i mean you would have lost some money that month dividend chasing um 1586 1576 that's one cent not really worth your time and then this one's 1620. The next day is 1585. You will have lost a significant amount of money trying to dividend form AGNC and Coca-Cola. All right, so for you guys that stay to the end of this video, let me tell you the real reason why dividend farming uh, in this manner would not work. It sounds great in theory. You might get lucky every now and then, but in the long term, selling shares that you did not own for over one year would be considered short-term capital gain and you are completely tax different in short-term capital gain because you do not own shares of a company for longer than a year if you own it longer than a year you could consider it long-term capital gains but anything less than a year is short-term capital gains and you are taxed at a completely different tax bracket than in long-term capital gains so even if you had a success rate of let's say 
you dividend form five companies a month. And all of those five companies, you want three times a month for the entire year. But that short term capital gain, even on dividends and from holding these companies for just one day, all of that short term capital gain, you are going to be taxed at a rate that is going to completely wipe out the dividends that you earned that year. So that's why many dividend investors will buy good quality stocks at a discount when the market is pulling back. I'm going to show you guys how to do that in the next video. So make sure you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on any future videos, but we buy good quality dividend stocks at a discounted rate. And then we hold on to those companies for over a year five years, six years, and we reinvest our dividends to where we're gonna be able to retire in those dividends. So if you guys wanna learn how to retire in dividends, make sure that you scroll down to the comment section. That link is to my Patreon. The Patreon will take you to my Discord. Inside the Discord, I post every single time I buy and sell stocks, all of my dividend plays. I post all my swing trades and technical analysis in there. We also have professional option traders and a great community of traders in there with a whole bunch of knowledge all at the tips of your fingers. Um, they post their option plays every single day inside of the Discord. So if you guys are trying to rather be swing traders, um, dividend investors, or option traders, um, the Discord is the place to go. So if you guys wanna check that out, that link will be down in the comment section. But yeah, guys, that's it. Let me know what you think down in the comment section. Have you been chasing dividends just because of that dividend yield? Have you been um, buying dividends just to collect it and just selling it the next day? Let me know what you think about that strategy. Am I completely wrong? Wrong, let me know down in the comment section if if there's another way to do this to where you actually would become profitable please let me know down in the comment section or if there's something that you thought about doing but wasn't really sure on why people isn't doing it themselves and you thought you had the big brain idea first let me know everything down in the comment section. I'll be sure to check those out. But other than that, guys, make sure that you pick up your free stocks from Webull on BlockFi and also Moomoo. All of those opportunities are great right now in order to boost start your investing journey with some free stocks and some free cryptocurrency. But other than that, guys, I'm Zeke bringing you the Dream Green Show and I'm out. Peace.